Okay, people, today we do the interview with uh, Graduada Algodão from Mallorca, Spain. Yes, Spain. We know us for many years now, since we met the first time in Germany. No. No? Where? Very bad. <laughs> I think in it was in, in my, ah, Madrid at Balas event. Uh, you have to uh, tell all people that when I meet you, Balatol, okay, you both, you are going to play together, Benguela, in a show, you yeah, remember? Yeah, I remember. Uh, <laughs> and I come, hello, you are going to play with me and you. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's very... <laughs> we <We're just laughs> <practical>. okay. <laughs> It's going to be a great day. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. It was the first time in, in Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. But then after, I think, the, then it was the second time or something like this. It was in in Germany at Sheriff. Sheriff. Ah, yes, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, since, since this time we meet up every, every year, something like this. Yes. I would always within, visit, visiting us in, in Germany and I go also to her at Mallorca, her events. And we also met in some other events. Gata. Gata. A good player of capoeira. I don't know if she knows English. <laughs> I but think not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, now so, tell us something like, how, how long have you been training until now? 80 years. I started in 2002. I'm, I, I'm not young. <laughs> 2002, 18 years. And how how did you get to Capoeira? Like you saw um, somebody is doing on the street? Or... No, my sister bring me to Capoeira. Uh, Agata he... was going long and then you... Agata, yes. Uh, Andurinha, he, she, she, sorry, she, she started in a new gym. And when she come back to home, uh, she told me, Anna, my real name, uh, there is a sport are, that you are going to enjoy a lot. It has ponchi, pananeira, au, and ah, okay, let's go try capoeira uh, until now. So yes. she started in, in Madrid or she started also? No, in, she started in, in Mallorca. So it's, you also started in Yeah, a lot of years ago. 18 years ago, <laughs> my sister <laughs> used to live in Mallorca. <laughs> okay. And your first teacher, who who was this? Uh, Mestre Yeye. He's still Mestre Yeye in... from Nosa, Nosa Filosofia. He still lives in, in Mallorca? My, uh, Mestre Yeye? Yes. Yeah. But you left after some yeah. years. Yes. 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 So how many years did you train with him? Oh, um, I don't know very well because I think I trained for four or five years with him. But um, after I go to Granada to study, study, I don't left the group, but I, I uh, trained in Granada with another group, like three years. And after when I come back, I left the group. But train, okay. train, I think four or five years. In Granada, I trained with Falcao, that from Capoeira Nago. Mm -hmm. And after when I come back, I decide to leave the group. And then you, there was also another teacher in Mallorca you started with? Or you did uh, your... uh, Yes. Uh, then I start to train with uh, Pegrande from Camboata, Pe Pegrande Mosquito from Camboata group. Yes, because I really like uh, 
de capoeira, de capoeira styles, and I thought, okay, I want to be like them, then I have to be there to train, because the style of my first group was a little different. Uh, I need to change. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Mosquito, he still lives in Mallorca as well, huh? Now, yes. Yeah. But uh, he comes and go out and comes again. It's like a bit. <laughs> to Mallorca. Yes. So he, he travels a lot. Yes. Like you. You also <laughs> travel a lot. <laughs> I always see your pictures and your videos too. I'm Brazil many times in a year. You go to Spain, to the, not to the islands. Yeah. And you always do Paris not... Capoeira. And you always what? do Capoeira. You always do Capoeira, yeah. also when you are yeah. traveling. Yes. But you're oh. traveling, you're traveling by your work, not yes. by, by your fun. Well, I travel uh, by my work, by Capoeira, uh, by myself, <laughs> my holidays. But always I do Capoeira. Okay. Um, but you travel a lot of, of, of your work. Yes, work. yes, yeah. And you have the time to go to classes and... Yes, I try to visit a lot of groups when I travel. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's important to visit different groups and play with different persons, people. And I try to do this. Always. I'm very tidy, tidy? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, um, well, when I finish my work, go to train always. Perfect. <laughs> and a skateboard, yes. Skateboard. When a pirata. Pirata is yeah. also skateboarding. Skateboarding. And yeah, surfing. he told me we have you to go. You do as well. Do you surf as well? Yes, but I'm not a good surfer. I started surf a uh, few years ago. Okay. But when there are waves, I go always. Nice. I try I never, to go and I try to surf, but I never sometimes surf. <laughs> it's difficult. But Capoeira helps to surf. <laughs> Jerry, yes, yes, my friend. <laughs> Jerry knows <to> good English. <laughs> I think his English is even worse. Yeah. Okay, and uh yeah you're doing a lot of capoeira i think like when i'm watching your instagram or something like this i feel like you're training every day every single minute how do you motivate yourself to, to do a lot of stuff with capoeira uh, i don't know <laughs> i always be motivated but i don't know why i love capoeira i think when there is an event of capoeira I want to train harder to come to the event and do my best there. And this motivates me when I know that there is a close an event. And um, to teach my students, I want to learn a lot to, to teach well my students. I, I think my students motivate me to learn more and more and more capoeira, to be a good teacher, I think. And uh, I like to train. I don't. I don't need motivation. I think it's yeah, easy to. It's kind of motivation because you travel a lot. You go to much events, and you want to and be. I have good to represent an European capoeira. I have to represent a woman capoeira. I have to represent a lot of things, and <laughs> I need to do my best because I can go in a roda and do a shit, <laughs> no? And I need to train. For me, this is important. Okay, for you, so for you, it's yeah. important that, that the people see that Capoeira women are also great in, in Capoeira. They can also yeah. be fighters. The, no, 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 like, <laughs> I, I have to... <laughs> no, but no is only fine. Is uh, all the thing. My, I have to go there. And I don't want that people say, okay, a woman, I am going to invite uh, her 
to dance after the event. No, I want to people or to men that see me uh, think, okay, this is a capoeira. She is a capoeira. Mm. I, I want to respect me, I think. Respect. Yeah. I think you're doing a great job with this. Because it's I love your style. I, I love you, how you play. You play good capoeira and also everything around. You are doing great things. Like I also like your event. Agudal is doing um, once per year. You're doing just one event, huh? Yes, yes, yes. just in the, in the event. Like it's yes. always in in October. It's Jinga da Ilia. Yes, and she invites many many people all over Europe and sometimes from Brazil. I'm lucky. Sometimes, yeah. And yeah, how? How did this start with Jinga da Ilia? When when did you do the first Jinga da Ilia? Oof, uh, oof. Let me let me think about um, Jinga da Ilia. Start with a roda, not with an event. First of all, was a roda, roda Jinga da Ilia. We was for people, my sister, the penguin. Uh, he was the boyfriend of my sister, Mosquito, and me. And in Mallorca, uh, there are not a lot of rodas of capoeira. And we we were from different groups. And we thinking about this, that no rodas in Mallorca. And we, we thought, okay, let's go to do a roda without... Um, without... Uh, uh, a manager, I don't know the <laughs> the name. Without uh, nobody command the roda. Oh, okay. Okay, only yeah. a roda for for friends. Like a, okay. like a free order for yeah, everybody, without yeah. group, without anything. Hmm? And yeah. um, we start, but people from Mallorca don't like that idea. <laughs> 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 nobody. <laughs> Because people or Mestre um, told us uh, a roda uh, has to to have a, mest, a Mestre and a roda or people uh, in this time, a long time ago, mm. and a roda people need to wear uniform, abada, and they don't like our ideas like Roda without a bada and Roda without one people or one master. It's a Roda, all people uh, supporting and all people playing instrument, playing. Uh, it's like free Roda. And yeah. um, what was difficult because the first Roda people comes to comes but come with um, <laughs> with a bada. <laughs> like okay. You can go to the roda, but you uh, have to wear a bada. Okay, and my sister, Penguin, and Mosquito, and me is like, okay, uh, what we are going to do? We are going to for forbid them to play, or our idea is to have a good roda. And we talk, and the idea is to have a good roda. Okay, let's allow them to participate and to do. And after them, um, my sister go to Madrid, Penguin to another place, uh, Mosquito to another place. No, Mosquito with me, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought, okay, we are going to keep going to the idea of Jinga da Ilia. It, uh, they are to meet people uh, who support only Capoeira, not uh, a group, okay? Like, uh, we are going to be together to to play capoeira, to train capoeira, to have an, a nice time is the most the most important thing, capoeira, no? No like okay, I'm the mestre and things like that. Okay. And this was seven years ago, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember seven or eight, I don't know. Yeah. I think seven or, or six years ago. So the first and time it was a horda, and the second time it was an event or still a horda? What? The second time. 
second time. No, <laughs> we have a lot of roda, three or four roda, but uh, then we stopped to do roda, and two or three years after this, I decide to to do the event and to put the name of Jinga Daida because mm -hmm. uh, was the same idea. The name Mosquito put the name. But you're organizing by yourself. Uh, yes, the first event, uh, Mosquito helped me, well, Mosquito and me, and after Mosquito and me <laughs> separate, mm -hmm. and after I keep going, doing. Doing this. But uh, I think it's not only me, because uh, I have a lot, I, I'm lucky because I have a lot of friends that support me, support me, mm. um, because I can organize the the, um, the travel, I can organize the hotel, thing like that. But when the event is, no, at the moment of the event, my friends support me, playing the berimbau, playing with the students. I think is for me, Dingaraelia is is all of us, no. It's not only algodão. It's helicopter, yeah. it's arisco, it's galinha, it's beto, it's... All the people you are inviting, they are helping yeah. and they are creating together the Jinga Dai. Yeah. Yes, because the energy, I can put only my, my energy. Mm -hmm. I need people to put a good energy in the roda and you and all people I invite put this energy. The energy that for me is Jinga Daelia energy. So it's more or less the same idea with the harder. It's free, everybody can come, and everybody yeah. who wants to play plays. Yeah. And it's the same as the event. Like you're inviting some people, but everybody is allowed to come, to join. And yes. Fun. Yeah. yeah, nice. And so what, what, what is. What is a good order for you? It's a good roda. I think it's a good roda for me where everybody put uh, their energy into the roda. I don't need a good singer. I don't need a good player. I need that all people put in or put the energy. Because if I have a, a super singer, but the student don't sing, it's not a good roda. I need that all people <laughs> like this. So everybody has, has fun. So you don't need many people for a good order? Mm, I don't need a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of better. people, no. But many people depend, depends of the energy. Maybe there, there are 10 people and it's a good energy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes yeah. there are... Uh, 25 people and it's not a good energy and I don't want to play. I want to play when I feel that the energy is a good energy and good rhythmic and all singing and all people want to play and if people like that, <laughs> it's not a, a good energy for me. Yeah. I think the music is important. I the music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For some people, it's like, okay, I can't do a great order without many people. Some people say, ah, like you, just five, six people is enough. No, Everybody is, is happy with not. this. <laughs> and how long do you teach already, Capoeira? I forgot to ask. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, when I start Capoeira, I teach in Capoeira because my first mestre, he told me that, okay, now you are going to do Me Alba de Frente, Decida Básica y Jole. And he goes out <laughs> of the class uh, and um, I was alone. And okay, let's go. And for the beginners, I want to teach them. Mm. And I start to do my, my own work of Capoeira. I think... Uh, seven years ago five years ago i think when because um mosquito was the responsible uh mosquito one uh, 
told me, okay, I don't want to know nothing about capoeira. And I told him, okay, I want to keep going and teaching classes because I want. And mm -hmm. in that moment, was me was my responsibility. And I think, I don't know, but all my life for capoeira, I teach capoeira because mosquito travel a lot and travel one month, two months, three months, and they was out and I, I was teaching. Okay. And, and, and uh, I wrote on some questions I have to read. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you change the question. A bit. <laughs> and what, what do you recommend to beginners? I also ask um, others to this. Like, what should they train or what should they do? To get better at capoeira? Uh, for the record, what I recommend to the beginner, I recommend them to enjoy a lot because I think uh, this time is the be one of the best time of the capoeira life, I think. It was one of my best, my best time, no? My In best time. When you start. When, yeah. When, when I start um, to improve the capoeira, to train train, train, <laughs> more train, um, basic train, basic train, uh, to travel, we play with different kind of capoeira, kind of styles of capoeira. I think this, I recommend it. Okay, so I put it together. They should enjoy the beginning time because they are raising much faster than Yes, I think um, they don't worry about um, to do to not worry about if they are doing a bad move movement. Yes, yes to do, just play and enjoy. I think people are writing questions. Like, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and I think uh, another thing. Uh, I think it's very important to do one movement, a good movement, in a not a lot of movement in, without technique or without flow or without control. For me, it's better than to do one movement uh, fine or good and not a lot of <laughs> for me. For beginners or for for, for, beg for all people, I think. For all people. Don't so worry about by, yeah, by more time. Yeah. Yeah. A okay. good jinga. Uh, and what do you recommend? Benito. What do we, uh, What do you re recommend for for advanced people? For advanced people, basic train <laughs> important. Also, um, always basic. And um, to help beginners, I think. Um, Sometimes advanced people don't want to help beginners or don't want to do classes with beginners. And I think that uh, if they help beginners, they improve the capoeira for me. And I recommend them to play, to play with different kinds of capoeira, to travel, not only for even of the group. Travel to different kind on event. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. I understand. <laughs> Capoeira 100% in que fala brasileiro. A gente sabe falar português, mas essa live é em inglês. É para que todo mundo entenda. Leo. Okay, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, like traveling a lot to, to other groups also, to their events, to play train the basics by their own and for me I, I felt like when i started started teaching i also get better at capoeira yes me too for this reason i told you uh, to help beginners because when yeah. you teach you have to think more to to people so when you teach uh, you have to know different ways to do the movement because maybe for you it's easy to do, but maybe for your student it's too difficult to do. 
and you have to search or looking for different kind of, of way to arrive in the same point in the same mode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. Mr. Hartman. Mr. Sapepa sent the question. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's asking you how how do you what, what was the question? Something like how do you like the capoeira in Vitoria, Espirito Santos, in Brazil? Ah, uh, oof. I, okay. <laughs> Let's do, you go. Do, you, do you think it's different to European capoeira? In, a, in, a, in, Brazil, in Brazil? Yeah. And in Espirito oh, Santos, no. maybe? Uh, if the, if it depends on the estado, Okay, I'm going to speak about the Spiritu Santo first, mm -hmm. Mr. Sapeva. Uh, I, for me, uh, was uh, was wonderful. Now, when I was uh, when I am going to Brazil, I put in my root Spiritu Santo because there people like train, people is like open mind, is like hi, who are you? Is very kind people mm -hmm. and. All the day, all day, there are other oh, capoeira classes and a good capoeira, a very good capoeira. And for me, it's like, okay, when I go to Brazil, I have to go to Espiritu Santo to train because there I know that I am going to train. <laughs> there is a question for you, helicóptero. Você fala brasileiro? Brasileiro no, fala portugués. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, uh, I would only um, I... Sorry, uh, the good thing to is that always different. Yes, yes, really true. And um, every every estado, I don't know in state how to say in English. Every state, state is different. It has a different kind of capoeira and is too nice to go in the state the state and see the the style of capoeira and see how people receive you and for me it's like okay i like this mm -hmm. okay so you so you what what state do you like the most in brazil for capoeira is it is it espirito santos or is it also bahia or something like it um it's different because for me it's super important to go to Bahia because the the thought that I have what is Brazil is Bahia. Okay, when you go to Bahia, you respect respire no you breathe breathe capoeira yeah. in the street in all o sea, Pelorino, you have to go. It's important for a capoeira. And to train capoeira, train and to improve your capoeira, you have to go to to Espiritu Santo. <laughs> no, 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 Salvador de Bahia has a good a good capoeiristas, uh, a good class. Yeah. There are people there that want to train and train a lot. And mira, um, Rato, Rato mm, is a Singamundo. super good capoeirista. In, from Bahia. Yeah. If you go to Bahia, you have to go to uh, Proyecto Manjinga, and there there are a lot of good classes of capoeira. Proyecto Manjinga is also uh, it's an, it's a pro project of uh, Mr. Sabia from Jinga Mundo. Yeah. For yeah, the people yeah, who don't know, yeah. he they it's have, something have, I, I don't uh, I don't know what they are doing exactly. I think they doing something with the street kids. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. They give classes there. It's in the Pelerino, at the Pelerino, and they give a uh, class to adults as well. And mm -hmm. it's a very good uh, job for me. Very good idea. You have to go. When you go to Pelerino, you have, <laughs> you have to go there to train. You have to go to Forti, the Capoeira. You have to go to Mestre Washini, Capoeira Mestre, that they like train all the day. Uh, yeah. 
Pichibun is asking, do you have a signature move? A what is your, your, your favorite movement in Capoeira? What you are My doing always in the, in the harder. Uh, so, this movement everybody knows, this one is from Agudo. She's doing it every time. I don't know. You you can say what I don't know. Maybe media lua di compaso. Maybe media lua di compaso. Cruzando por detrás. No sé. Pullover. Always, always when I see this handstand with where it's like this, where you are. I don't know how it's called. Ah, uh, lecky. Lecky. I don't know. Like. Uh, Aubatido with two legs? It's with two legs, but you are flattened like ah, this. Ah, pullover. Pullover. Always when pullover. I see this, this movement, you have something, uh, some pictures of this in your Instagram. Yes, you yes, yes. Look at this. I don't know so how, I how the name longer, of this I was better in this movement. <laughs> now it's not the same movement. <laughs> But yes, it, Pull over. it's typical for me, yes. Yeah. But I think always when I see this movement on a picture or somebody's doing, I always have, yeah. have in my yeah, head like, yeah. it's, it's I good. Yeah, it's this one from the yes, shirt. Yeah. Yes, I think it's one of my representative, representative movements. Yeah, for sure. Well, and <laughs> do you have many women in your class? Or are yes. Practicing couple more than than men. Uh, I think now I have half and a half. half and I half. think, yes. Okay, because yes. I got sounds like a question. Maybe you can answer because you are also a woman. At my class, there are more women than men, and I feel like when I go to other groups here in Frankfurt in in Germany. Yeah. There are always more women than men. So yeah. it changed. In the beginning, many years ago, there was maybe just men. Then some women came. No, there are more women than men. Okay. Do you, uh, do you know why why it's like this? Or maybe you have got an idea. Okay. I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, ne? You know, that mm -hmm. I when I finish my class of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I do capoeira. And when I do the jinga, all men uh, are, go, um, are doing a joke <laughs> with the jinga. But when I do a kick or a acrobatic, they, oh, could you teach me this movement? Okay, they like the kicks they like the movement but they don't like the part of the jing <laughs> of the, 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 the yeah and for, for them i think it's not manly it's not uh, masculine uh, sport i think and for a woman is is not yoga and is not mma it's an intermediate mm -hmm. you can do uh, things like dance because of the balance of the jinga and you can get self-confidence because you do kicks and for a woman it's a good, a good sport I think yeah. I, think I have so. also the, the feeling like it's when, when they're, they're coming sometimes new guys new men to the or boys to the, to the class and they like the kicks they like the acrobatics but if we start doing Something like makulele, or we start doing oh. uh, the music, you sing. <laughs> and and clapping. <laughs> the people leave. Yeah, they don't come back anymore. Like, okay. So yeah, and for me, it's also like I think women like more those dancing and the music. And yeah, for women it's better because they like music. They like dance and it's more complete for for them 
pitbull. I feel very masculine when I do it. This one, this one guy, the Wong, Wong BJJ, he's my teacher from, from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> he's also laughing now. And uh, how do you feel of, uh, about this this post break of Corona at the moment? Because you can't train my like you used to, or you can't go you to your events you like to, you can't go to harder. Uh, for, for me, it's not a training break because I keep going training, but it's a different kind of training because um, well, uh, because for my job, I used to travel a lot. And today I train with, with one group, tomorrow with another group, and I don't have a focus train. And now I can have, I have a focus train for me. And I'm very happy. I am okay, yeah. take care for my body, for my body, but because when you go to a different class with a teacher that you don't know or you don't know him, you have to do all the things. And I have pain in my back and have a lot of things. And now I focus on condition my body to mm -hmm. be better after this. And for me, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Now, I you, miss my food and miss my events, but... What do you practice every day? Like, you're doing yoga, I saw, something like this? You're doing yes, yoga, I do... I do... I do yoga, mm -hmm. I do condition, condi uh, I don't know what to say in English, like... Uh, like running and stuff like this? Running? No, because in my home, <laughs> I can run. <laughs> But uh, like CrossFit, yeah. to prepare my body, I have uh, one friend, uh, Fa, Fa, from Lingamundo. She helped me to do movement to improve my condition, to prepare my my back, to like, uh, I don't know, uh, push-ups, uh, things like that. And after, I train capoeira, but uh, I have not enough space and I have and I train basic capoeira like uh, bananera, ponchi, queda de hins, and kicks kicks in line, line, martelo, mm -hmm. gancho. In this month I improve my martelo a lot. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm very happy. <laughs> No, because uh, I, I I haven't got enough space. I can do a media lua de compasso. Then I have to focus my train. And then mm -hmm. this month, I I thought, okay, I I am going to improve my martelo. And I started slowly. And now I put uh, like one kilo and one kilo. And here, one kilo and one kilo. And I do martelo. Fita quesada martelo, finta armada martelo, and I improve my martelo. I don't know when I take off the the way, I don't know what is going to happen. <laughs> 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 so I know I just train now catching martelos. So I catch. I just train this. Yeah. And, oh. and yeah, and when we met in October or maybe somewhere else. <laughs> I catch all your martelos, no problem. Okay, let's try to... <laughs> let's try. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you, you're giving classes still with uh, Skype or something like this? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, by Skype. And do, I'm giving class, yes. Two times I'm giving week? more classes mm -hmm. than before. I give class, I prepare a movement and I send a mail, a mail, no, a video with the movement, is the movement movement of the week and they okay. need to learn this movement. Hoy me estoy toro and 
after I give uh, some variation of the uh, atabaque or pandero. Okay. Yeah. To, okay. A lot of things. And it, uh, a lot of things. Habrá semestre. <laughs> So you you take some videos, short videos of movement or variations of atabaki and stuff like this, and you send yes. it to your uh, people on WhatsApp. And yeah, and they uh, have to give me back. Uh, back. Ah, they have to send back what yeah. they did. My students, <laughs> yes. The and movement. You, yeah. Is uh, each week uh, there are a movement. Mm -hmm. and a variation of the atabaque or pandero because the rimbao they can do like this <laughs> but okay. atabaque they can do in a table or in a chair and oh, okay. it's good because they are doing and they are doing yes. well maybe i should try also with my students we are doing nothing at the moment <laughs> you, can, you can do i do a easy movement it's not too really difficult movement but i okay. i do this you I, do I also it. start with this. I also start with this. I, I uh, took a video of a movement and sent it to my people uh, on WhatsApp. Some sent it back, some not, but no problem. Chris is from Chris. Uh, <laughs> doesn't like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> he hates music. He's like this, guys. Chris. Interesado, he, say no. He likes to he likes to train. He likes to do acrobatics and kicks, but if it comes to music, he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for me, when I begin capoeira, I I was like him. Like I like uh, kicks. I like acrobatics. When oh music, no, <laughs> okay. But it's a very important thing. Because when you get older in capoeira, if you don't know something of music, it's like, come on, I'm 18 years old, and I, 18 years old, 18 years of capoeira, and I can do this. And it's better yeah. to learn now, uh, because after it's going to be harder to do. Professional. Yes, so. And uh, I Music. Yeah, he has to learn. But he started. He started with singing yeah. and he started with playing Birimbao. He's like a professional musician. <laughs> <laughs> and who has been inspiring you? Like who was one guy or one okay, master? I, I have different people that inspire me in my life of Capoeira. At the beginning, the the first time that I meet uh, Kambota Group, the people from Kambota Group, I like, like them. And later, when I meet European people that play a good capoeira, like Marisco, Pitbull, you, I thought, okay, if they can, <laughs> I can. I have only train and train. And now, today, of my friends inspire me. My friend that support me, for me, inspire me. It's like very lucky because I my friends are a good capoeiras. It's okay, my isco, my friend is Pitbull, and uh, uh, you are a good super capoeira. You inspire me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I have if the people have any questions, just ask. I think I just have one or two more. Easy question, please. <laughs> Easy question. Normally, we speak a crazy mix of English, Portuguese, and Spanish. Yes. But at the moment, we try to speak just English. It's very difficult. Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry for my English. I know it's a shit English, but I, I try to do my best. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> and I um, what do you wish from people who are starting capoeira or just started capoeira it's also I also asked Arisco this question last time 
it could be a difficult question, but maybe you can do it short. Like I it would be cool because I don't understand the question. Okay, <laughs> for me it's I like when that. when I when okay, I, I teach Capoeira, yeah? Yeah. And sometimes there come some new students and I wish more that they learn to be better at the music. Or I wish to that they uh train by themselves. Like they're looking up in the internet for a video of how to play Atabak and they just come to me and say, Hey, I look what I learned at home, ba ba bam and they're playing Atabak and I can say, Yeah, great. Yeah. So they they train by their own. Ah This yes. is what I wish sometimes. Yeah. Yes, yes, I wish this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a student that do this. They do this, uh, like, and I want to learn this movement. Like, uh, they saw in a video. Mm. Okay, let's go. Uh, with the music, no. <laughs> but uh, movement, yes. Um, I wish that they enjoy whatever they do. They enjoy and they keep going training. And for me to see the smile in their face, for me is like, okay, it's enough, I think. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and Pirata sent some question. Do you think Capora is going better in the world? I don't know what he means with this one. <laughs> I don't know. If I think is Capora is going, is going better, yes. Why not? Yes, I think um, in the world, in comparison with Brazil, or... I don't I, know. <laughs> I, I think it's going better because um, now people who is responsible in Europe, in Europe, they are going, they are doing a good, a great job. And Capoeira is changing. It's not like 10 years ago that um, some teachers uh, were not doing a good job and I think it's going to change and our capoeira is going to to improve, I think. Yes, I think. Okay. How do you rip? Uh, uh. Okay, don't answer this. Uh, Corona Felix, we, we did it in the beginning. So if you look up for after I will post it in my, in my stories, He, pues, he respondido ya esta pregunta, pero <laughs> mira si el post. I And think it's going out of time. I don't know what's yes. meaning. But I have also a question like, uh, what what do you think about competitions in Capoeira? Because now <laughs> yes, there were many, many competitions. There are many competitions. But yeah. they are more like this group is doing a competition, this group is doing competition, uh, some groups are open, I, but they are only the, the same people. Yeah. And now I, we I don't like the competition in Capoeira because I think it's not objective mm -hmm. because always uh, there is a, a juice. I don't know the people who who put the, the, the score. The jury, yeah. Jury is not objective. They always are frame off, frame off, or frame off. Yeah. It's not, it's not. It's difficult to be a, a good competition But for if, me. If there is a is point system, like you can say, okay, this guy got one point, now this one. And do you like the idea of competition? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's possible. <laughs> it's po I com no, I participate in a few competitions, and in I participate in Red Bull competition, Red Bull Paranaue in Brazil. Yeah, and it's good. I think it's good for me because I teach class. I give class. If I need to go to a company and ask to a, a money for an event, if I put in my CV, okay, I'm the winner, the 
the better yeah. woman capoeira is good for me. But um, is I like? No, I don't like. Don't but like. I think it's good for me, and I think I have to do. Before I didn't do. No, I did some few, few, mm -hmm. and I didn't like. And after I stopped to do, and now I think is I have to do. And you go, you you go to competitions in BJJ. No, 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 yet no. I have to go as well because I I when uh, there are competition I in the Capoeira event is too difficult to be. It's too difficult, but I think I have to do this because maybe Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is my way. <laughs> Perfect. So I don't have any questions more. Maybe you oh. want something to tell us. You want something to tell about uh, Jingeda Ilya this year? I think it's not going to happen. It's difficult to say if it's going to happen or not. Well, I don't organize nothing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, but uh, I have to wait the destruction of the government because maybe in May uh, we can go out home, but to do uh, festival events is going to be a lot of months. It's difficult. I think in October it's going to be difficult. But yes, I when I can, yes, I am going to do a Jinga Okay. Right. I hope. So I don't have any questions more. Oh. For the yeah, and we it's it's quite an hour now. Is an hour? Window. Yeah, it's an hour. You speak okay, for one hour I English. speak more than Arisco. <laughs> and my Arisco. English is worse. Okay, Arisco. You Arisco have to... was, was fifty minutes, I think. Ah. Also. Okay. More or less the same. And let's uh, tell you about Jinga da Ilia to invite people to Jinga da Ilia. What do you think? What do you feel about Jinga da Ilia? Like I have to do advertising for your Jinga da Ilia? Yes. <laughs> I've been there for, <laughs> for, for the second or the third time. I don't know. And Jinga da Ilia is, a, for me, it's a really nice event. I like it very, very much. Because you got the, the feeling of the island and with the beach. There's also a harder every time at the beach. Um, and there's not so much training like I'm used to. When we are doing an event, we do like six hours training per day. Without break, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Jinga da Ilia, it's more like there's one class in the midday and one class in the afternoon, yeah. and then there's much relaxing time for go to the beach, to hang out, to meet the people, to get them known. And I like the idea of this because it's not that stressed, and there are always good orders and always good people. I would always always inviting really good people. I met many people there and I'm still in contact with them. And I like everybody. Yeah. Oh. You have to go there, people. Really. Very good, helicopter. DJ Tunubame. So okay. I think no more questions. Okay. No. Thank you, Aiko Dao, for this interview. You're welcome. And I'm calling you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Sara, guapa.